Rob Schnetzer, I'm one of the marketing guys around here at Sage just now. One of the things that we have an overabundance of around here is these old hard drives. Now, most of them are still in real good shape, but we do have to crush them and destroy them. Along that line, we've actually kind of been debating on how much damage one of these suckers can take. So that's what we did this week for our blog, is we decided to put a selection of hard drives kind of through the ringer, see how much damage. We did three different tests. We did a drop test, an impact test, and then a crush test. We actually got some pretty interesting results. It's past what this screen yeah so it'll come up with an error message because it doesn't like the way the video card's configured but this just being a test rig i guess that doesn't matter to me we just want to see if it starts hey back with you here again you know after our initial drop test from one foot all of the hard drives did exceptionally well they all survived um all of them boot up Okay, so we actually appear to have our first failure, that Seagate Constellation I just referred to. Um, it is not booting, so after a three-foot drop, the Seagate Constellation is out. We'll test the rest of them and see how they do. So we let it sit here for a little bit. Uh, we were still getting a blinking cursor, and it seems like both of our full-size SATA 500 gigabyte drives, a Seagate and a Western Digital have both croaked from a three foot drop. So after the second round of testing, uh, we are down two drives. So the larger SATA drives, uh, both the Western Digital and the Seagate are uh, kaput, they're broken, um, haven't been able to get them to boot after multiple attempts, and all of the 2.5 inch drives are actually still working and still kicking right along. Uh, I'm not really that surprised considering the 2.5 inch drives have a little bit less inertia when they hit the ground, so that could have something to do with it. Also the fact that they are meant to be in laptops, so maybe treated a little bit rougher as opposed to the larger ones which are supposed to be in. Uh, desktop computers. So uh, we will continue testing the 2.5 inch drives and the SSD, which of course is still okay. And um, we will bring you some results. So after our third test and what appears to be our final test, uh, the two and a half inch drives that we had, both the uh, Hitachi and the Western Digital have failed. Um, so it seems that uh, direct impact, which is what this third test was from about a foot up from an object that was about two pounds, uh, definitely did not fare well with these drives. So um, they hung in there, um, they got knocked around pretty good but uh, they have both failed at this point, which uh, to no one's surprise means that the solid state drive, of course, is the more durable out of the seven drives that we originally started with. First one we drove over, so we will see what happens here. 
All right, and power on. So that's actually a really good sign because the rest of those drives really didn't even. Yeah, there we go. Bingo! So, you can in fact drive over a hard drive and it'd be fine. With a 2011 Kia Optima. There we go. We know that for sure. Here's the error message. And uh, this one is not clacking. So I think the other one did take it. Uh oh. Let's try to reboot it, see what happens. Not happening. So it spins, but it boot up. Yeah, but something's happened to the flappers. So. It did last time though. Yeah. Like when you installed, okay, yeah, so, so yeah, it was definitely. Well, these had Windows operating systems on them, both of them were installed, but then most, both of them went through the install process in its entirety. So, um, so conclusion being 50 50. If you run over your hard drive, uh, you have a 50 50 chance. Of, I'm sure it's probably much less than that. But there is a chance that your hard drive will survive. But uh, just don't, don't run over your hard drive. Hard drive. <laughs> a chance, right? It's a chance. Right. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hey, back with you again. So um, some of the results actually were kind of interesting. Um, I definitely did not expect. Uh, any of the full-size hard drives here that you would find in uh, what would be a desktop computer like this one to uh, fail as early as they did. Um, I expected them to be a little bit more robust, but clearly that's not the case. Um, now, when it comes to these little suckers, they did pretty good, but as we found out, any type of deformation or impact on the top of them is definitely a no-no, and it will kill those drives. Of course, unsurprisingly, because of the simplicity of the design and no moving parts, the solid state drives did very, very well on a lot of the torture tests. So that kind of tells us something there. Obviously, not really surprised about the solid state drive. Uh, as long as you don't compromise the board that this sucker is on, it will pretty much live through anything. It's kind of like a cockroach. Um, so definitely, if you're going to be torture testing a hard drive or if you're going to be throwing around a laptop or even a desktop computer, and you have the money to invest, a solid state drive is the way to go. Now, for me, the surprising result of all of this was, of course, the drive that we ran over with the car. I kind of expected both of them to fail. I didn't realize a drive could take that much punishment from a car tire and still continue to function. Of course, we lost one of those on the, on the testing, but um, the other one is still kicking right along and seems to be doing very well. So I hope you got something out of this and maybe a little bit of knowledge about what not to do to a hard drive. Um, so uh, I hope you were a little entertained and uh, we will see you next week. Once again, uh, my name is Rob Schnetzer, I'm with Sages Marketing. And if you do have any questions for us, just contact us at support at sages.com or our website. And uh, if you do get an opportunity, sign up with us. We put one of these blogs out about once every